this is the first one I've I've uh, worked on here at home for the, for the second record. Just getting the uh, the home recording rig off the ground. So this is one of the first projects I've done, and um, it was a moody track. So it, it, I had some kind of very moody minor key uh, guitar ideas come to mind, and then in the in, at one point I did this three part harmony thing. That was really peculiar. <laughs> Just had to stick this one little episode of strangeness. And um, but I was hearing kind of uh, liquid sliding things, so the fretless bass was was a, a kind of a natural. And that's actually Doug Lunn, who is bass player that uh, used to. He's no longer with us, and 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 was one of the most important people in my life musically. Uh, he was the bass player in my band Beer for Dolphins for a long time and, and actually a really educational figure in my life. He, playing with him taught me a lot about music and speaking to him taught me a lot about history of jazz and uh, experimental music. He's an incredible talent and really brilliant guy. And uh, the bass that I was that I played on this track, the fretless bass, uh, belonged to him and after his passing. Uh, his wife Vita and his daughter Donnie uh, kind of bequeathed that instrument to me. I'm caretaking that instrument now. So it's, uh, it's a heavy thing to, to play it. <laughs> some some MIDI keyboard stuff using this strange little keyboard tiny uh, USB instrument uh, did an oboe track or what they refer to as oboe and uh, a nice analog synth pad type chords <laughs> stuff I'm not listening to what I've done previously so let's, we'll see how Scott Shore you know what sense he makes of it all <laughs> <laughs> 